plan for today is to go across the Ukrainian border, but we're just having some Zen time in these woods. So, welcome to Hungary. Sorry at my dishevelled appearance. But as previously mentioned, I live in a van. But as not previously mentioned, I had a bit of a mission yesterday and I'm not getting into the Ukraine. So we are now in Hungary and we're gonna have to go through Romania to get to Istanbul, which is good. Because I cannot find the V5. It's been ordered, it's getting sent through, blah blah blah. So the only thing that we're going to see in Hungary is whatever is at the top of this hill, which is some sort of geological feature filled with water. So I draw the short straw and um, take the bike up with a dog pin to see what it's all about. And then basically we're going to pack up and head to Romania. So that's what's happening. Wow. Still trying to work out if this is man-made or not. I don't think so. The lines look too smooth. It's like it's been water eroded. to cross to Romania where we hopefully won't be hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Luna is very excited to say hello Luna Bean. Hello! Kazakhstan actually to see a car being pulled by a horse but still even uh, a cart with car parts on it pulled by a horse is good enough. I've seen that now three times but I seem to have up the ante in terms of actually I want to go on to one. Um, I don't know how that's going to be achieved but this is an adventure so we do have to push into the unknown and that is one way to do it. Says so the person who is freaking out about driving in the streets of yeah, Romania. Well, I, t I tell you what, you have some fun driving around in Romania while things are blowing all over the place. It's just leaves. It's, it's not just leaves. Strong wind. Branches and small dogs and <laughs> cats. And people walking backwards. Yes, people walking backwards. Lorries, trains, lots of things to think about. specifically Siga Sora, which is um, a beautiful medieval Saxon town. Um, we spent all day yesterday driving through the uh, northern part of Romania, which was really incredible. I think we did maybe a time lapse of this with the GoPros being playing up, so um, we didn't manage to film much of it, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's like, yeah, I filmed some of the stuff around here, it's very nice. Yeah, I think the drive has been so overwhelming that we didn't really know what to take pictures of or mm. what to film or mm. 
you just kind of sit in the car and just mm. look around. Mm. And we kind of want, I kind of wanted to stop a few times to mm. have a look at certain things, but you just mm. can't because it's village after village after mm. village and there's people mm. everywhere. Mm. <laughs> and like you don't go for more than 20 minutes without seeing a horse and cart, which yeah. obviously is very entertaining. I really am into horse and carts for some reason. So um, I haven't got to ride my horse and cart yet, though. Yet. Yet. Whoa, post coffee and cake smugness. That's amazing. That's really good. I had like a white chocolate with some kind of caramel sort of thing on top. And I had a, what is it called? Chocolate. A little chocolate pudding thing. It's called like a volcano or something. Uh -huh. Because it has melted chocolate inside. Uh, now we're going to go up here, which I appreciate will just look like a dark hole, but uh, we're going into it. Go on then, Bean. Get up there. So here we are up on School Hill, there is a big church, wow, there's some little buildings, there's the tunnel that we came up of, and here is the school, and there's some more cool fortifications. Excuse me, doggy. Boop, boop. <laughs> oh dear. The oh. road seems to have finished. The road seems to have got awfully muddy. And we still have 22 minutes to go to our destination. Yeah. This is definitely not a road, is it? We need to keep some speed up on this. Wow, well, look, they're redoing the whole um, river. It's obviously a river bend, which has yeah. been eating the, eating the road. Yeah. Chickens! Little Have you noticed that they're hanging their clothes outside? Especially baby clothes. Like they're hanging everywhere on the fences. Right, okay. Okay, we're a second gear. I can see the exit now. Holy moly, we're going. That's a very purple house. <laughs> That's a very purple house. It's got oh, a matching car as well. Awesome. Okay. Oh, So this is the cows coming home. Um, it's quite incredible. There was already a herd of goats that have gone past. Now there's a whole herd of cows. Um, one cow just went into that wooden building there. So I guess that they're not actually just a whole herd. They're actually different people's um, cows. So yeah, this is just amazing to actually, it's like the back, probably back in time. Hello, sweeties. Good girl. There's a lovely smell of burnt wood in the air. Obviously, everyone's starting up their stoves now. Hello. <laughs> These dogs having a go. You better hurry up, you're the only one that can come. You're gonna get in trouble. No, 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 no,
Good morning and welcome to what is turning into a medieval castle tour of Central Europe, oh, sorry, Eastern Europe. What we have here is the, another amazing castle. This one's much older and much smaller, but let's check this bad boy out. I did some droning earlier and we've got like four towers, a gatehouse and then a church in the middle with a um, with a tower, like a defensive tower. And it's great to see all of the, um, you know, the wooden ramparts on tops. You know, most castles, they don't have that anymore because they're just the skeletons of what once was. Let's go inside. The lady just told me, the lady at the entrance just told me this is uh, 1200s, this castle. Standing on mud floor over beams. That's the uh, back of the gatehouse here. The bit I just read there was saying that uh, the bit that we just inside was a lard tower up until the 1900s, uh, sorry, the 1990s, like, because no one had refrigerators, so lard and ham was stored. And there was a designated time where you were allowed to come and get your ration for that week. And um, there was two officials that would check that you had the right bit of lard and ham and the ham would have its number designated onto it so no one could steal anyone else's lard. Yeah, we're third floor now, top of the tower. It's quite rickety. Oh yes. Okay, so we have got a decent view. thinking from looking at it that um, the ring, the castle, is actually quite a bit newer than the, the actual main fortified church. It's all done away with these things that bits are bolted on over time. Around here, there's someone's old cart. Oh yes, see the problem? Broken axle. Interesting, interesting to me at least. A low point of this whole courtyard is the drain. So clever medieval people. <laughs> 